Right guys, um, this is Stefan, and I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial. Um, you guys mm, probably saw this thingy-majiggy that I did, um, wet fur, which is pretty cool, you know, in all. It looks like if fur is being wet by water, you know, with all sorts of kinks and clumps and stuff like that. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this really, really quickly. Um, okay, let's go. <clears throat> First of all, we create a plane. Scale it up. We go into tab, edit mode, W, subdivide. We subdivide 10 times, right? Come out of edit mode. Shift D, duplicate the plane. G, C. Go up. Drag the plane up. And we scale it down, right? Um, then we add some movement to it. <coughs> so, location, 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 location. Alright, so we got moving around. Let's see how it looks. Right. Well, we could probably scale this still a little bit more. Right. So, yeah. Um, so now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into our physics tab. Right. We add a dynamic paint. We add this as a canvas. We add canvas. We don't want it to be paint sorry we want it to be weight right we click this and this is going to be our brush dynamic paint we go to brush add brush make sure you change the color first of all to black right oh that's bleeding later later on and we want to change the paint source to particle system you click particle system and then you click sorry I didn't add one but you add a particle system to to this mesh first of all right we go back into our dynamic paint and we add particle system, right? So now, when it when it rules, it should be painting uh, like that, right? Just like that, right? And then we're gonna add, we're gonna make it fade, right? And we're gonna take this up to probably like 320. And now, when you go, it should go like. Too quick, so we got to 360. Hopefully, that should be enough. And need to click a so. Hopefully, this should be enough. Is it enough? Yes, it is enough, right? So, we click the brush again and we increase our radius to probably about six. And we go again, we play it again. Then it should be a little bit bigger. Right, just like that. It's much smoother now. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our edit mode. I mean, in our physics tab. And we make sure to get out this vertex group weight. Right? And we press plus. And we'll show you why. Now, when we click on this plane, we go to particle system, new particle system. And we want to make this half here. So we click here, here. And my normals are reverse. So tab into edit mode, control F, flip normals, and tab back into edit mode, to object mode. And we decrease the hair length. Then what we do now is we want to interpolate it. We add children, interpolated, right? And from there we use some clump, right? Our shape. Shape of that much, right? And um, roughness we add random our random up and turn our endpoint. No, you don't need that much, but anyway. Then we're gonna go to length, we're gonna go to wait. So now, when we pull, it's just to show you what happens when you paint it, 
the hair should be growing and overall very slowly it should be decreasing in size just like that but we don't want the paint now we just want these last five values so we can delete that we add our clump a kink more weight there and there and there so now when we look at it it should be only clumping in the area that is being that is being weighted by the particle system right and now what we're going to do now because we don't have any kink we're going to click curl and now this should make it even more noticeable as you can see right now from there this is the cool part now we go back into our physics stuff right and then we then we um we go back into our physics tab and then we add another canvas on this the canvas because this is a canvas with the hair right and we make it we leave it at vertex <coughs> now what we want to do now is to make sure that when this passes over it paints it black so let's see if we set up everything correctly is it being painted black yes it is you can see it right great and then now what we're gonna do now is we want it to dissolve after time, so we're going to make this about 360 again. Great, so now let's try and see what happens. We play a game, and there we have it. It should be fading. Right, it's fading. Great, right? So, this now acts like water going on fur because when water gets on fur it clumps up right so now from there we're going to make it into an image sequence because we want to use the textures from this which are going to be just alphas with black with black splashes on it <coughs> and then what we want to do is first of all we go into edit mode we go to view top right make sure that our entire plane is in is in view you project from view so we can have a UV map we come out of that we tilt away and then we add our UV map and then we bake our bake our um, image sequence right and we choose anywhere I have a test here a folder for here already so just to my sequence right here right and we bake it this should be quick, very, very quick, very, very quick, very, very quick, very, very quick. Great. Right? And then from there, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to our. Right. We go to our material tab for this. Right? Add a new material. Let's play it just to see how it looks. <coughs> Right, so we can see the hair, it behaves like if it's being influenced by a fluid or something like that. Right, so then from there, what we can go to now is we go to our, our texture, right? And then from our texture, we add new. We go to image, open. We go to our folder where we exported our images, our paint map, right? Select everything, we open. A is to select everything, right? And then we make sure you click match move them so that all the frames will match up with the frames that were exported. We go to UV map. And now we want it to affect the color, but not as yet. I will show you that in a couple of seconds. And then um, we go from, from, we want to enable reflections because we want to behave like water. Right, so we want to enable reflections. So we click, we click our um, mirror and rear mirror. Then we go to our material tabs, and then we click mirror. So now that the textures, now that we exported, would actually influence that, right? So now when we play the animation, it should influence our texture. Right, <coughs> so now if we did it correctly, it should work. 
if we did it correctly. So we render it to see what happens. And we did it correctly. Because as we can see, it looks kind of reflective. We can still add more reflections to it. Yeah, and then one, one other thing is that we're going to change our particle system to lane. So we click this one to brush, and we click lane, and we decrease our tip. And then from there, we go and we just see how it works out again. Right, we click back here, and then we go back to that, and we make sure we have more, more reflection because it's a little bit low. Right, like that. Mm, render. Right, so now it looks, it looks wet. It looks wet now. Right. So then, now, what we're gonna do now is we're going to. We are going to test out. Now we're gonna add in um our color, so it will get darker. So we click color and we bring it down really low to probably be like four, and we render. And it should be darker, right? So now it looks like if it's being wet. This is really really simple, pretty cool, right? On um, now if you want to, if you want to um, if you want to add in a texture, you know, like fur, like you know, leopard fur or anything like that, it's pretty cool. So what you can do is you go back up to your texture, we add one, and we put it to the top, right? And we have I have a texture here ready that we'll use. I have this texture. And then if we render it should it should right. It should get darker. A little bit too reflective, but we can fix that. That's a simple fix. Right? We can fix that and we can even increase the darkness because it looks too light right now right and I think we can also oh it's pretty dark not too dark, dark go back to our texture then we ah uh, right we go back into our particle system and we try to make the hair shorter because it's, it's like longer than the other hair surrounding it so we can increase the random oh, random Point and we can decrease the size, length. Oh no, not the length. Um, it doesn't do anything, it seems. Um, it's just to get it to the bottom. So, well, Lizzie Bass probably can get it like that. Um, Alright, curl, so you just make it a little bit curlier, then hopefully this should be it. Alright, I have to turn on your reflections, I forgot about that. Alright, so then we just go back to our texture, and we go back to our material, then we go here and we turn down, or we turn up, turn down. And down. Just show you our reflections on it. I think that might be a little bit too much. To yep, it is too much. Um, I might gotta add a little bit more color just to get it darker. And uh, you may need to add a little bit less. Too much, can see. A little too much. So we add up there. No, it's too much. We add just a little bit. 
That should be it. Or then, I think this should be it. This toe looks iffy. That that should be it. This has to be it. Um Right, that's it. Finish our half. That is awesome. And then that's it. And there's so much so many more effects you can do with it, you know, to get it look looking, you know, even more realistic. Um but hey, right. So you can even add more stuff more stuff like you can make like only to hear were being affected by the particle system glow. So, for instance, um, click emit. Let's say put it to like three, right? We go to our tab, our world tab. We click approximate, and then it should be emissive. But this might take a little bit longer, but yeah, you get the you get the the idea. It is very, very, very simple. Very simple. Okay, so only where the here is being affected by the weight and the texture will be glowing. So the sky's the limit, you know, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with it. I mean, like, you know. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it may take too long to render, but I hope you guys get the idea and play around with it, you know? It's just pretty cool. Alright, take care, guys. God bless.